Welcome to the Holly Focus Podcast. I go by the name of Brother Terry. And it's your boy, Ed ZP. And we are back again. This is the best podcast for niggas eating chicken and paying child support. Yep. You already know what it and is. Make sure y'all paying it, because if y'all paying it, you're on our channel. If you're Please not. Please be on time, because you do not want her on your ass, brother. Because the man will be on your ass. As well. <laughs> All right, love. Y'all know what we get into uh, in the beginning of the show. My man normally kick us off with some foolishness, so some let's get straight into it. All right. I'm gonna start off real, real dangerous. <laughs> a fight to the death. What, bro? <laughs> a fight to the death with third graders. How many can you take down before you get overtaken? Third graders? Third graders. I'm knocking out at least like 33 of them motherfuckers first. 33? Yeah, I'm. Off the rip, I'm kicking the shit out of them before. Like, nobody touching me for real, for real. Like, the first 15 young boys just getting. <laughs> Bro, third graders, though. How um, big is a third grader? So, Moe and L are both in fifth grade right now. So, two years ago for both of them. L's big for her age, though. Exactly. But you're going to be having some that's that big. <laughs> you have some that's that small. As small as Moe. <laughs> that's a dumbass range, bro. <laughs> I'm giving 15. The reason why is because I, I mean, I could definitely kick a few. I'm giving 33 right? just because I ain't four going out like that. Four head kicks. <laughs> four kicks. They four head kicks. kicks right here. Straight four head. <laughs> <laughs> front kiss. Then you take one and you start swinging them around to kind of get the other ones back. Gotta get these little niggas dizzy. I'm, I'm gonna th- say, I'm gonna say about, alright, I'm gonna give it 20 because I think at some point I'm gonna get tired I'm tripping and somebody gonna get on my back and then I'm gonna try to get them back. and I'm gonna lose my Lose my phone. When they go on your back. That's what that's when you lose. Yeah, it's gonna be a wreck. What's gonna happen is somebody's gonna hit that bad leg. <laughs> somebody's gonna hit that bad leg. That girl knee. Right, and it's gonna be a wrap from there, bro. They gonna overtake you. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle down. Right. You're straight to their side. Awesome. And it's gonna be a fucking wreck. They go, rap. All them bink, bink, bink. It, all it. it really don't take much. It don't. Damn, I'm still taking out thirty three just off the strength. I ain't going out like that. All right, so I got another one. Please. Imagine there's a dating app, right? Without pictures. But only one fact about the person. What's that fact that you want to know off rip that you're swiping? Yes, I'm. For me? For you, yeah. If I were to be on a dating app? If you were to create a dating app that could only tell one fact, that you were only allowed to tell one fact about yourself. And it's not, it doesn't have to be your fact. It can be a fact that you, like, are looking for. Like, I'm, me personally. You got it. Go ahead. Me personally. I don't know. Uh, I was going to say age. Like, mine is sure it's over 25. Okay, you can say age. That's fine. I was going to say, are you really who you... There's Y'all no gonna get upset, oh, but you if you say what your sexual orientation are is, is that really what it is? Hmm. Don't be a man and say you're a woman or vice versa. Oh, okay. So you mean you mean sexual orientation or gender? Gender, excuse me. Gender. Okay. Wrong phrase. My my apologies. Got you. No smoke. No smoke. Okay. No smoke. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Not even because and I don't even want to, I feel weird kind of forcing somebody to be honest like that if they don't want to, but mm-hmm. it's not necessarily for them, it's for other people that will want to date them. I gotcha. feel like, oh, that's a, uh, you I get, get what, what I'm you saying? Mean. I get what you mean. Like, just be honest with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get that. That's why. I get that. So you can say age because I was going to couple that in with age. Like, just be mm. truthful about those things. Don't be saying you fucking 25 and you 16 that's the, that's getting the somebody thing, yeah. a case or some shit like that. Yeah. Like, yes. The, uh, yeah. There's one fact. I get I get that. Both both sides. Yeah. Yes. We want to have that. And age is, age is a big issue. Can't just be lying to folk. You can't. I mean, that's fucked up. And yeah. folk also just can't be nasty, but... You just can't be lying to folk. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about it. Like, I mean, other things factor in, but those are big. Those are very yeah, big bro, things. Yeah, bro. Like, come on, bro. Stop. All right. And 
That was a serious question, man. That was a serious <laughs> question. So let me get back on a little high note. Right. So if you were transported uh, back in time, if we talked about time, um, and you could say something to your eighth grade, eighth grade self, what would it be? I'm trying to remember eighth grade, but yeah, I remember. What would I say? Okay. I would say a few things. Don't cut your hair. Mm. Pay more attention in school. Mm -hmm. Work on your jump shot now. Work on that J. Because by the time I got a jump shot, it was too late. You think so? Yeah, I ain't really... I could score, but I ain't really get a jump shot until I was like in college, for real, for real. Oh. If I really like a <clears throat> consistent jump, like if I'd have worked on that shit back then, I'd have been a problem. And I really probably, and I would have took school serious, and I really would have been a problem. Yeah, gotcha. um, yeah. I just I didn't really have anybody to like push me for real, for real. I ain't have guidance. Mm. I'm easily distracted with, you know, fat asses and shit, sundresses. Mm. <laughs> fat asses and sundresses. Right. Oh. Mine would be. It would, one, be true to yourself, obviously. But, like, <clears throat> I would really tell him, like, yo, nobody got this shit figured out. Yeah, nobody. bro. Nobody. Nobody <laughs> had <laughs> you, figured out. Would you have went back in time and told yourself, yo, bro, this is assimilation? <laughs> bro, yeah, this is, this is a game. Would your eighth grade self know what assimilation was, though? <laughs> Nigga, it's a video game. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, yeah, like I would tell myself that, yo, don't Bro, take this seriously. Shit. Life is, life is not real. Life is fake. This, literally, as long as you focus on God, and it, we, it kind of speaking the shoes, but like, kind of pushing, really knowing who God is. But like, going back in time and telling myself, literally, nobody has it figured out. You, your desires are not anybody else's Word. so no one else can have the same point of view as you you're coming from a unique point of view live that story like live that story to the best of your abilities you want to make that shit a movie and you want to feel good in that movie you don't want to have a bad movie you don't want to be doing something you don't want to do for the rest of your life no you want to see that movie and be like yo i fucking went to here i did that i did that just go for it so many missed opportunities that i had in high school and going off to college that I wish I would have taken. I'm glad I didn't take them in that point, but like if I was younger, I would have went to Hawaii. I would have went to, you know, all these different places. I would have not worried about so many things. Alright, nigga. I told you I told your ass last week. You getting all button work this week. Shut up. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I had to get you early though. <laughs> I'm gonna have it. That's what I'm gonna tell my nigga. <laughs> wrap it up, nigga. Wrap that shit. When you up. get older, wrap it up. Wrap that shit <laughs> up. Facts. I should have said that. It's like no. But that was the last you know? Oh yeah, that was the last. That was my three. I bet. They was good. Serious. Right, right. Serious first Jones. We don't always be on the, some bullshit. Yeah, and put some comments. But answer that question for us. All those questions, I'm going to see some comments. Give us give us your answers because I'm going I'm to laugh. Yeah, and I forgot what the questions was, by the way, that fast. <laughs> Back to behind. Right. Leave focus. So, moving on. What were we... Uh, what's the new stuff we had recently? Ooh. I had uh, some old freaky type stuff. So, what you have? I had a... Infused joint. And oh, I don't even know the name of it. I know it was a sativa though, but it was an infused joint. It was like a caviar joint. That's okay. what it was called. It was infused with hash oil. The joint hit. And I had it for about a week. And it was a solid size. Facts. Yeah. Like, like, so it wasn't like huge, and it wasn't small at all. Pause. But I understand what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Sound but, don't matter, dude. But, <laughs> but dog, Wait, like that joint, like I definitely would would like hit that joint like twice or three times a day and be cool, mm. like off of that. So that was just different. Um, what else did we have? You had some. What did you have? What, what I got? Lamb's oh. bread. That's what you got. We got we got that lamb's bread. Uh, vape. In vape form. Yeah, in vape form, which was. It hit so far. Got that nigga. Got this, that nigga sneezing and cough. This is day. This is day one. So, 
I'm gonna see how I'm already high, highly focused. Highly, there you uh, go. <laughs> highly focused. <laughs> so I'm in there. There you go. Um, green cup episode. You dig? Green cup. Green cup. So what? Uh, <laughs> and you had some. Um, what else did you get? What did I grab? Yeah, that's what so I'm trying I, to say. Okay. Before. So I grabbed some GMO Kush. I grabbed this shit yesterday. Kush. Kush. <laughs> um, and I have I had got some blue coral. Okay. Uh, that we had last week. Last week. But we didn't do it on the air. We did this. We smoked it afterwards. But Fact. I had it this week, and I and I mixed it with my green crack. Oh my God! You is a so. <laughs> So, but you know how I do. So, you know, we mix it up. We made a new string. There we go. Let's go there. That aquarium rock. Allegedly. <laughs> hey, man, that's a good blend. Listen, but uh, let me see. I'm going to pull up. Um, I grabbed some. Oh, yeah, what did you grab from the store? Uh, You know, rest in peace to Black Mamba. Always, you know, it's playoff time. So, I had to nice. grab some something called Kobe. That's the indica set, set me right down. What day did you get that? Um... So Friday? Oh, uh, what's this after? Friday after, it was like Friday evening. Oh, okay. Like, I went there around like 8. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, then I got some stuff I had before. I got some good old Hennessy OG. Um, that's always pretty good. Mm. You know, hit that shit through the bong. The Henny bong. The Henny bong? Double Which Henny. One, the, big, the big one or the little one? Pause. Pause both. <laughs> both? Oh, this nigga double fisted with the <laughs> 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 Pause, double cupping, nigga. <laughs> double cupping. Double fifty. Double. <laughs> Gotta chill. Oh, Gotta chill. <laughs> chill on the Sunday. <laughs> what, bro? On you Sunday gotta afternoon. relax. You gotta relax. <laughs> but what are we? Uh, what are we high on right now? What are we? What are we highly focused on? What have we brought to you by? What was in? Oh, I made that jump. The aquarium rocks. My bad. Thank you. No, I should be you. asking you the question. Ask no, yourself. But, no. Yes. You brought you brought the additives. So what was the additives? A good old spaceship nigga. <laughs> Not wicked that. space. It was moon rock. Just had a door low. Okay. One two in there. Okay. Just, just for safekeeping. Okay. No, I'm talking about this. Oh, oh my no, bad. That yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, oh my god. That's, that's for the smoke with me. So that I'm is sun. Sunset. Sunny, sunny delight, so. Sunset shortcake butter. That nigga oh. took a okay, <laughs> okay. So we, we highly focused on the day is some uh, aquarium rocks with some frosting on top. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There's a lot in that name. You said sunset sunset sugar. short oh, cake. Sure, sure. Okay, sunset, sunset sure. short cake. That's but what that's it was the called. Rock. So we so I'm gonna go over the symptoms, not the symptoms. Symptoms. Uh, this nigga is sick. <laughs> so this Negro is sick. The blue coral is supposed to make us hungry, aroused. What, yo? <laughs> oh, this, I'm reading the joint. And you shouldn't have read that joint, bro. This is what the, I'm doing what they tell me. And then it's Leafly to, on some freak shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> some it real. So it's supposed to help. Uh, no, not help with headaches. The negativity will be a headache for this one. But we mixed it with something else. Bro, I hope. So we mixed it with. What did we mix it with? We mixed it with that green crack. Nigga got me being a crackhead on a Sunday again, but uh, I do not be coming here for that. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> but we got talkative. We got energetic. Nigga, nigga got the rapsy doodles. That's a fact. Focused. I am, you know, on my shit. I know what's up. And the only thing that's negative is supposed to be paranoid, anxious. Feds watching. Eyes. Feds watching. Dry so, eyes. My eyes ain't never dry. So, so, so I think... I think the blue, the green crack again is taking over. Yeah, got you being a crackhead <laughs> on a fucking Sunday, bro. Yeah. Stop, <laughs> stop. Green cup episode. That's all I'm gonna keep saying. Green cup episode. Whatever that means. <laughs> we just say a bunch of random shit here. All right. So that's all we doing. That's what we on today. That's what we on. And we gonna see where the day, where the day takes us. <laughs> it's okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Call. Call. Well, why are we just why are we on the subject? Real quick, bro. Let me know. Let me let me get some of your like we etiquette um 
non negotiables. Non negotiables. Or just what let me let I me like know what non negotiable part. Okay. Like let me know what what what's the what's the weed etiquette and just non negotiables with smoking with you, bro. Because uh-huh. I just had an experience with yeah. motherfuckers. And I'm just curious. Cause you know, you're probably the person that I, you know, I mean get highly focused with the most. So you know my fucking routine and mm-hmm. stuff like that, things that I'm accustomed to and things that'll probably piss me off <laughs> when I'm smoking <laughs> with a person. <laughs> <laughs> a couple, there's a couple. Like, so, I have I have some non-negotiables when it comes to if you come with somebody, right? So if you go to an outing with somebody, mm-hmm. um, I'm very sensitive on this. You pass it to the person you that you came with. with. Yes, they gonna get the second hit just because if this makes it around. They need to be they, the one to, they have to smoke. They exactly. can't quit you. Exactly. So you get the first hit. Now, I've been in situations where I may have been the second person that was supposed to get it, but I let it pass me for simple facts like that because when I'm with somebody, I know how I'm passing it. Right. I know who's getting this joint first. I know who's getting this joint first. Right. So that's one big one. So I'll let you go to the next one. We can go back and forth until. A non negotiable <laughs> for me is just fucking. Chiefing and always letting that shit go out. Like you just, like you just in conversation, and, like, and then that shit just literally like every time that shit get to you, it's like bro, you had that joint for like five minutes, bro, like, and you still ain't finished the story. Yeah, that shit. That's a uh, that will blow my shit. Cause I could, I could, I could have gotten high. I could have. You know what I mean? Have my own blunt <laughs> and been high by now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm Respect just, the blunt. Just be considerate Fact. for my time. That's all I'm saying. Fact. That's that's a good one. Because I'm right here sitting in my head like I've been that nigga looking at niggas like Just like this nigga, you don't even smoke. realize that because shit went I'm, out I'm, two minutes ago. I'm only here for the smoke. This <laughs> conversation is bullshit. Right. So I don't care whatever about you're what you're talking about. about. I don't care I'm about nothing. Care. I don't care. I promise you I don't care about I'm it. I'm trying to make sure that blunt get back to me two more times. Real quick you before not, I did. You're not making it in a nice circle. Come on, bro. Like Now, my biggest thing off of that is I'm not a stickler on puff puff pass or puff 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 pass. Depends on who, who I'm, who I'm getting yeah. out of focus with. It's, it's the amount of smoke you are smoking. Right? So, mm-hmm. like, if you... I'm a baby lung boy sometimes. <laughs> so, like, when I'm smoking, I may not get the biggest pull. I don't look at my drone like, damn, maybe I should catch up and get a fourth pull. But no. Get my three and pass it. Right. But, like, if I'm somebody smoking... Yeah, yeah bro. Don't be... Right, like, like, come nigga, on, bro. You get your two... And, and pass that bitch. Facts. And don't hold it like you said forever and then keep lighting it and come back. That's what right. my weed. Like. Bro, why are you take why are you like this shit three times? Like what are you doing? That means you talking too much. <laughs> like, that means you talking too much. Why you ask for the lighter three different times? Jesus Christ. Facts. And don't got your own lighter in your Facts, pocket. bro. Put that lighter back down the table. And probably, and probably <laughs> got all three lighters. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put it right. right, bro. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Little sticky finger niggas. That's your joke. <laughs> sticky finger sticky niggas. niggas. That's another joke. God damn. Me. You key finger niggas. <laughs> Keep my lighters out your pocket. <laughs> Listen, that's why you get a special lighter with no. I wish I ain't nobody, thing. yeah, ain't nobody taking that, bro. You, oh, where you get this from? Where you get this from, bro? Tell me. My crib. Where you, how, you, <laughs> how you break this part? What exactly. <laughs> Come on, man, stop. <laughs> asking questions. What other, John? You got to ask before you pass, bro. Be respectful and considerate, pass, bro. Do not pass. wet the blunt all up. That's super weird. Right. Um. Also, if you were the type of person that got to really, like, wet the blunt when you roll, if you smoking with people... Try to be considerate, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, just at, I don't know how you could be less nasty, but like lick your finger and then try to do it or something, bro. Or, or you, or, or you, the national symbol of cleanliness. Like that, dude. yeah, like, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, and like that, do uh, do don't something, bro. That you are killing the germs, bro. Don't don't let me think you got COVID this, and just passed it to this, me, bro. <laughs> this was pre-COVID, right? <laughs> Post-COVID, and that hasn't changed. We're not changing the rules on you. Why are you acting this different? Been the same. Why are you acting different? Burn your shit. Get, get the right, bro. That's all I'm saying. Get all that shit off. Damn. Um, Any more? Um, don't come over and break my shit. Please don't. Don't come over. Sorry. And break my shit. <laughs> I don't fucking come over. 
But I mean, I am my father's child. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes breaking stuff can lead to better things, better but blessings. I, but I didn't want to get them right now. Hey, I man, didn't want to pay for that extra blessing. Blessings in disguise. But after I got on his ass, I broke my own full jaw. So exactly. Really so look at that. <laughs> Motherfuckers act like it's my fault. It Back don't be. At seven. It do not be. Shit. <laughs> do not be. It do not be. You don't want to see me. Do not be. It do not be. Blank. It do not be blank. It do be blank. It be blank the whole time. Real shit. Don't be me. <laughs> Just saying. Real shit. God dang. Alright, I don't think I got any more for now. Uh, blessings for the week. Uh, do you have any or any that you can I think do. of? I uh, do. My blessing is that my twin is about to graduate and went to prom. Oh, yeah, yes. man. How was I? I could not make it. My, my, it was quick. It was, he was in and out. Yeah, in and out. <laughs> took a lot of pictures. Like, I, I didn't take a lot of pictures. Uh, family did. We Shout got a full bunch. Youngin. But yes, my. My twin is 17 years old, so mind your business. We the same age boy. a little bit. Little <laughs> young boy growing up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see him, like, just grow. Growing up, yeah. He's a, like, young a man. man, bro. That's my man's. My young boy. I was already fighting. <laughs> my young boy. Okay, fight hang for this nigga to the end of the <laughs> Fight for this nigga to the end of time. No, nah, man. Shout out to him, though. Bro, I stop right. saying the end word, bro. Saying Trying to. Anyway. But uh, blessings of the week for me, um, I was very disciplined this week. I actually didn't smoke well. I cut out blunts okay. like, during the work week, except for Friday. Okay. Um, so I didn't smoke blunts until Friday. Okay. Um, well, you hit the bowl for the most part. I didn't really smoke anything. I think I smoked a drink one time this week. Okay. Um, nice. But yeah, just giving myself a little random tobacco break. Yeah, just random tasks, for real, for real, challenges okay. and stuff like that. Just I don't want to just be consistently, you know, I mean, get highly focused all the time. Um, but it does help, for real, for especially mm-hmm. after like stressful days and stuff like that. But not actually sitting and smoking, like actually just hitting a bowl or something, like just other avenues. Got so, you. That's what's um, up. So like I said, same thing for like the vape or something like that. Just mm-hmm. hit that instead of actually rolling up and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So side blessing, I got my collection up. Of bongs and weed. Facts. Shout out to you. Yeah. You've grown up in the I, world. I got I five see strains them. instead of one. Okay, okay. And then you got that starting five. <laughs> <laughs> from my bowl then you got that starting five. <laughs> you got that clean piece. <laughs> got the clean piece. Get Finally, clean nigga. Piece. Cause don't disrespect me. <laughs> <laughs> I, <don't care. laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> but I'm going to say it. She was looking out of control. <laughs> <laughs> when my pop say, hey man, you gotta tighten up. <laughs> you gotta tighten that up. <laughs> there is a fact. That's a fact, though. That's a fact. Tighten that up. Speaking of shoes. So, speaking of shoes, bro. Speaking of shoes. You had one, I had one. Uh, but mine was like, just random. Would you rather have like a full supply of like some. What was it? Would you rather have a full supply of some mid or get fire far and in between? Mm. Crickets, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the mid. I'm gonna say the full mid. Full supply of mid. A full supply of mid. Versus fire far and in between. Yeah, because say like every three months fire. Every three months fire, do I get anything in between? Or I'm just waiting for fire every... I think you're just waiting for fire. I'll take the mid. <laughs> I'll take the mid. Here's the thing. I'm not disciplined to hold on to that fire for, for, three, for months, three months. Right? I'm going to smoke it and then put it away. And then when... But if it's fire, then that's that shit that's like, you got to wait to come back to that. So it's like... But here's the thing. You know how tolerance break works. As soon as you <laughs> smoke it, you really not... You're going to be high as fuck that you it's almost like you're gonna be the highest you've been which is great mm-hmm. but like now that we're older when we smoke we're more smoking to like meditate smoking mm-hmm. to it be enlightened I want that throughout the time the, the day. I don't want to like just get really really high and then like not have anything later because it's like it's crack it's like <laughs> it's crack. crack what you get no. really high and you're like oh I'm chasing it like right. but I'm gonna get that next fucking for a fix god damn Smokey I feel like I'll stop smoking after a while 
Probably. Yeah, if you gotta wait for fucking fire. Possibly. I don't know. That was just my speaking shoes. This is a random thought, bro. Random thought. My speaking to shoes? Mm hmm. What's going on with taxes, bro? Bro, I said that. Sh- well, I said, said like inflation. inflation, inflation like, it's the same shit, essentially. Like, Philadelphia talking about doing. I guess I'm looking at now. I was talking about reassessing these home values, but my mom was talking about taxes going up thirty percent. Property taxes. In Philadelphia. Yes. Jesus Christ. So everything's going up thirty percent, except people's salaries. Somebody had to say it. You thought I wasn't when I was? Shit don't never make sense to me. And I just I can't fathom how how people say certain shit. Like how do you expect that to work? Because you were saying something to me the, 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 last, last last week. You mentioned like um what you called the it? great uh, recession boom. That or well, no no you were saying nation. yeah to rebuild a nation or something like that. that oh, was, yeah. That's why everything's inflated and stuff like that. Yeah. It's like bro, that's not going to work because they're not paying people more. They're not paying people <laughs> like, more. Like that's that's backwards. The jobs are are just as bullshit as they were. We're right. Just, they. COVID was a great awakening and people don't understand it. I keep people trying to tell people that. How horrible workplaces were. How, e- how easy it was to send us home and give us a computer. How much time it took to just be in the house, go to a computer and do shit. Why do I have to be in your building? I kept it a stack and that. said that to my bosses last week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get it. They said something like, what can we do to, 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 to keep more employees or to get a more diverse team or something like that. I was like, one, you got to pay people more. But I was like, working in the field, we working, it's not sexy, bro. Mm. Like, straight like that. And I explained to him why. I said, what the pandemic has told us is, one, we don't got to be in the workplace five days out of the week. Two, students don't have to be in school five days out of the week. They can do virtual learning and stuff like that. And I said, three, people realize they don't need your traditional nine to five to make money. They Mm. can make money on their own. Nine times out of ten, they realize they can make more money on their own with less of a headache and less time mm. and less stress because you're doing something that you don't mind doing, doing something that you actually enjoy doing. Exactly. And you're doing it from the comfort of your home. Why would you deal with stress from motherfuckers you don't even like? Facts. You got to get in your car and travel nine times out of ten a distance you don't want to go. That's gas money right there. Random you're spending, shit. You keep spending money. And it's like you got to listen to somebody. It's like you probably don't... I tell people... No bullshit. I say this at my job when, when like my coworkers be like, yeah, well they said we gotta do that. I say, well, I don't give a fuck what they said, cause I answer to God. Amen. I'm a grown man. Like Amen. I don't. If, if they say I gotta do something, I'ma say no. Uh-huh. I don't feel comfortable doing that, and I'm not doing it. And you can pick somebody else, or Fact. if there's gonna be an issue, we can talk about Fact. it. But I'm not doing it. I serve one. I, I don't serve listen to God. you. <laughs> I listen to God. Are you God? Exactly. If it doesn't feel right, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And it's straight yeah, like that. If you don't like how I feel, you. like that's on. If you don't like how I feel, you don't like. I said that's a personal yeah. problem for real. For I don't mm. mind talking to you about it, but I'm not gonna feel no type of way about what I said, and Facts. I stand on it. Facts. Agree, a hundred percent. Period. People just be yeah. people in job. Employers just be. Employers still think that they can get away with saying the things that they've been saying for mm-hmm. all of these years, but they don't realize the pandemic has opened a lot of people's eyes. A lot. And it's like, nah, bro, you're just not going to be saying stupid shit to me. I, it changed. Stop it. It changed so much. I love it. I love that people are coming to the realization that, yo, you really got to treat your employees right. Right. You really have to, if you want, if you want it, if you want to build this fucking business, mm-hmm. and you, on the backs of people, then the people got to be Especially well fed, well, they gotta feel good about themselves. You have to compensate people, especially for stressful ass jobs, to help them want to stay, to help them deal or deal with or tolerate the shit that they have to deal with and tolerate. It's mm-hmm. that simple. People don't mind working in uncomfortable situations because it's a challenge and it gives people it, it it gives you grit, it teaches you perseverance. It's an experience, it's a challenge. You're gonna learn something from that. Mm-hmm. I don't think any experience, work or just in general, is a bad experience. It's just a learning experience. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? But like, no, nah, damn, bro, I lost my train of thought. Holy focus shit. Mm-hmm. My bad, y'all. We need a, a lost train of thought button. God damn. <laughs> God damn. I know I do that shit all the time. Shit, my bad. <laughs> I'm glad it happened to you. Nigga made me a crackhead today. What the fuck can I God. say? Jesus Christ. I, I never do that. Jeez, I'm glad it happened. Man, forget you. <laughs> What's going to happen is Speaking of shit, 35 man. minutes later, I'm going to remember that shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this popping my head for? Right. 
Give your whole give nigga a whole voice message like now I remember what I was saying, motherfucker. Like that's, that's crazy. That's what's up. I forgot though. But yeah, that's basically what the painter has told motherfuckers, man. Like, we can do things on our own. Like you don't have to and I'm not listening to people. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I listen to God, I follow God rules, bro. Like Fact. miss me with all that goofy shit. Yeah. Period. But yeah, my bad, bro. Yeah, that's what I, I was bad. saying. I remember. We were just drawing? Huh? You ain't had no more uh, speaking of shoeses. I did. Speaking of shoeses. Speaking of shoeses. All right, so one more, John. We're going to get into second topic. I thought about this the other day, bro. Um, what's a what's a blend, like a, a two strains or more than two strains that you would want mixed or made into a new strain that you just haven't seen yet? Ooh, that's a good question. Out of just, or let's just say, out of things that you've had recently, because I don't want yeah. you to think back too far, because we'll be here all day. No, no, no. So that aquarium, aquarium rocks is definitely a great blend. Um, and that's the that's coral, blue coral, and blue coral green and crack, and green crack, crackhead Sundays. That's it. <laughs> <Really good. laughs> crackhead yes. Sundays. And then the only the other one, without thinking too much, would be I don't know if they haven't done it, but they I need to find it. Is like a blue train wreck, or like a blue dream and blue dream wreck. and train wreck. Just coming up with a name for that, just blue dream and train wreck. wreck. A Smurf accident or something, <laughs> like, <laughs> something crazy. But like blue train, blue train. But you gotta, you gotta better, you gotta. You gotta blue that's train? the blue line, nigga. Blue line, nigga. That's better. the blue line. <laughs> blue line. Huh. I, think, I like that better. Uh, the blue line. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's simple. But yeah, I like that. That would be a good one. How about you? Uh, Mr. Clean and the Juice, bro. Clean juice. That clean juice. That is a. You that know, is that's, a. Heck of a blunt. You know, that's 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 a good that's a good mix right there. That's a heck of a blunt, yes. They, 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 somebody need to, I need to do that. <laughs> I need to go ahead and do that. Uh, I need to go ahead and do that. Stop playing. <laughs> that is for real. Give me another. Give me another. Um, Let's do three. Do Let's three. do three each. Do I'm going to say... I'm going to say mix the Girl Scout cookies with the Sour Diesel. Mm. It's gonna be really skunky. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what to call that shit. Hold on. Um, Ooh, you took my <laughs> motherfucking. <laughs> I was gonna take. I was gonna do this already. I ain't gonna do this. No, no, no. What's this mix of what? Dutch racer. Ooh. That skunk on the Dutch race. That's why I was going to do that. <laughs> that shit was going to smell because crazy. It smelled like a frying yeah. pan. From the rip, bro. The, the skunky frying but pan. It smoked. Frosty? It smoked smooth as shit, though. But the frost on it, bro. That shit looked like it was dipping cocaine. Cocaine. <laughs> White rat. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine rat. I got them slurs. Yo, my man. <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about that. <laughs> I heard about that yet. Um, Y'all don't know nothing about that. <laughs> What's an insider? <laughs> All mm-hmm. right. Um, oh, so the GMO Kush was actually good. Facts. Um, they have GMO cookies already, which I thought that's what that was, but it's not. Um, I don't know what else I would do. You got another one? Uh, yeah, I would do Cinderella 99, which is a sativa, and I would do, um, ice cream cake. I had that not too long ago, and that shit was, uh, What's up? uh it's an indica, and that shit was very solid. So I would definitely just want to see those two mix, like that blend, because mm-hmm. I feel like they're both kind of like strong indicas and sativa, so I just feel Got like you. it would be a perfect, perfect, perfect uh, hybrid. mix, yeah. Nice. Um, that granddaddy perp. Mm. That granddaddy. Uh, imagine that granddaddy perp. Rest in peace to my granddaddies. <laughs> mixed with like a high sativa, like like a Jack Hera. Like a Jack Hera. Like old grizzly, old grizzly dude. Like <laughs> got you turned up. Like you for just no want to reason. Lay down and you'll be run turned at up. The same time. You'll be so turned up. Like you just. 
for no reason with that shit, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Sit your old ass down. When you sit down, you slump. When you stand up, you start running like. When the you walk, you just make noise like old oh, nigga. <laughs> Niggas just grind when he get up. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, sit your old ass down. 19 year old. Ugh. All right. I'm like, Jesus Christ, somebody got Somebody give me a plate. Ugh. Like, sit your ass down. Standing up is so different from sitting down. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, old oh, head shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. That was it. That was it. Ain't got no more. Oh. I'm going to just. Uh, no, go ahead. I was going to say, I'm going to do an honorable mention. Um, I fucked with the gelato cake. Oh, okay. Yeah, two different. Types. Yeah, I fucked with the gelato cake. Um, I think I would mix that with like a uh, wedding cake or something like that. Okay. Just because it's, it's, just cause it's cake. cake shit. Remember we had chocolate. I was thinking like a chocolate, the, like a, a chocolate strain mm-hmm. mixed with like a gelato cake or a wedding cake or birthday cake. Yeah. And see how that like. See how that blend. Out. Yeah. Shit probably smell like chocolate icing, bro. Chocolate frosting. Chocolate frosting. Crazy. Fudge. <laughs> Fudge. <laughs> Fudge. <laughs> All right. Next drone we got is, um, let me know what you've been listening to because we're coming down to the home stretch a little too. bit. So I'm going a, I'm to a pull out a couple mentions. I've been doing my daily uh, discoveries, as okay. I've been saying. So I got about three artists I want to mention. I got Chloe Soul. Oh, no, sorry. Cleo Soul. Cleo Soul. Forgive me. Cleo Soul. Uh, when I'm in your arms, great song. Okay. Um, I got Jesse Boykins the third. Jesse Boykins yeah. the third. Earth girl. It's three of them. Nah, it's just one. Earth girl. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's three people named Jesse Boykins the. Third. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse Boykins is three. He's the third. Okay, he's the third one. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> Shout out to the first two. I got the first nigga shit. And Sam. Henshaw. Sam Henshaw. Yeah. How does it feel? Those I don't three. Know. I've I'm there's a lot of songs that I added, but those three are ones that when I almost got to the end, you know how when you almost get to the end of the song, mm-hmm. you're like, yeah, I gotta replay this. <laughs> oh, I gotta like let me run this joint yeah, back. Let me run this joint back before it even gets to the end. Like I I miss some things. Right. So those are three songs that y'all should take a listen to. There's a lot more to come. Gotcha. But those are my three. So, what you been listening to? Man, you know what time it is, bro. Little man, man, not the one to go dumb on. <laughs> Come on, man. Kung oh, Fu yeah. Kenny said, K y'all niggas five years, bro. K that. My boy. Come on, man. Mr. Morale and the Big Steps. Come on. Stop. Stop it. That's all I've been listening to. That's all you've been listening to since it came out. Real rap, man. I mean, it's solid. I don't want to d- go too into it because, I mean, it just came out a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. Still probably, you know, still digesting it. Facts. From what I've heard. I mean, yeah. I've heard it. I probably listen to it probably like twice a day. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, it's solid, man. Just mm. being, just, he's touching on a lot of different things he hasn't touched on in previous albums. Um, I think his cadences and his just his delivery, just how he's rapping is always been top tier but I can tell I feel like he's gotten better with that um does sound inspired just touching on like I said things that you know our community probably really, you know really needs to start embrace, mentioning yeah. yeah and embrace and start really talking about and I feel like he's someone who has the platform and um not just the platform but has the following to actually and the voice to yeah. actually, you know what I mean, get that across. Um, so yeah, man, it's he's a solid project from what I've been hearing um, so far. And to Pimp a Butterfly is like my favorite Kendrick album. Mm. But like, like I said, as of now, this is like a very close second. Got you. You know what I mean? I, would. I just think he touched on a lot of different things, and it's, you know, double album technically. Yeah. So that's kind of dope. I'm s- yeah, I'm, I'm good to see him glad, glad to. progressing with every album. He hasn't put out anything that I haven't enjoyed, thoroughly enjoyed. So, yeah, like I said, I ain't about to go all deep into it because, again, this like literally hasn't even been a week. So, yeah, I don't really like when people be reviewing stuff like that, especially with artists like him, because it's so much to take from. Mm-hmm. It's like, you, how can you really give a reaction in like two days? Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I don't give a fuck if you listen to that shit all day, every day, nonstop. It's, you not, you gonna miss shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stuff gonna go over your head. You're absolutely right. It's a, it was oh, yeah. a great album, but we definitely, definitely gotta give it. We gotta give it a solid review next time. Something. Just yeah. talk about it a little bit more because um, there's a lot of inspiration in there. I'll just mention a few songs. We cry together. <laughs> Fucking masterpiece. Uh, um, Worldwide Steppers. One of my favorite drones on there. Um, Mama I Sober. I couldn't get through like the first verse, like the first couple times I listened to that drone because mm-hmm. he said something about a grandma and I was like, bro, I'm not finna cry in this car, bro. Not Stop playing with stuff. me. I gotta see it. Gotta get home. You're right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was on my way to work. I was on my way to work. I'm like, y'all, not nah, finna think I'm high in this room. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell y'all I'm high in this room because you ain't going though. I was crying. I was crying. I'm like, fuck that. I um, <laughs> um, Auntie Diaries, but like, yeah, it was a couple of drums on it. We were just, you know, kicking real shit. So, yeah, my my one automatic uh, save was Rich Spirit. And then uh, count me out. Rich nigga, yeah. broke phone. <laughs> Real shit. Trying to keep the balance, the hand strong. Right. <laughs> Stop playing with me for a thirty two or something. My foot, my foot. Yes. See, he's about to give me in my bag, bro. I told you, Don't he's about to be all Kendrick lyrics right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So oh, what thing I can say about Kendrick? Bro, my nigga's snapping, bro. Without reviewing, the reviewing Kendrick. Period. He's going to give you repeatable lyrics Thanks. when it comes to like. <laughs> I remember telling my nigga for the longest time, nigga, shut up. <laughs> nigga, that ain't no word. Nigga, nigga shut, shut up. up. <laughs> like, that's always that time, acting unsensitive like, and shit. Why are you saying that? <laughs> nigga, shut up. Like, bro. He's gonna make yeah. you say some shit. But overall, man, so far, like I said, so far, so good. Like, solid project. Like I said, it's, I think it's becoming one of my favorite mm. Kendrick projects. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I'm definitely, we'll talk about it, but. Facts, yeah. But yeah, glad to see that. <laughs> but all right, so we coming down to the home stretch. Yes, sir. You're almost in there. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what you've been influenced by or uh, inspired by. What you want to share with the people? Uh, I'm gonna just mention again, my nephew Sean Baker. Shout out to you, Sean Baker. Graduating, going to college. You're doing big things, doing young big man. Things. He's almost out. Proud of you. Growing up from my eyes, trying right. to. Uh, a upgraded version of me. A remarkable young man. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him. He's definitely, yeah. he has a good head on his shoulders. He Real right. We, we all raised him well. <laughs> it takes a village. A com- it takes a village. It takes a village. And it took a village. It takes he, a village and a strong ass grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <Yes>. Christ. <laughs> To the day. Right, but no, I'm shout just, out. I'm just going to say, because she's watching this right I now. I know. Shout <laughs> out Look, As he was getting into the car, it, <laughs> from the time I got there <laughs> to the time he pulled off, she was in his ear. Of course. <laughs> I don't know what she was whispering. Everything. All I heard one time was, don't let her blah, blah, blah. Right, blah, right, right. Make you sure better, she blah, 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 right, blah. Right, right. You better have you know what. Make sure she do that. No, man. I was right. like, okay, Grandma. All right. Grandma's do not be playing that shit, bro. <laughs> Real right. But all right, um, for me, what was inspiring for me? Um, I actually bought like some motivational cards and stuff like that. So I've been reading them like when I wake up and uh, meditating and everything. And speaking of meditating, I actually realized today I meditated over a year. It's just 393 days, bro. I meditated in a row. 392? 393 days in oh, a nice. row. Right. I thought you said 100 last time we talked. No, 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 no. Oh, so, you, oh, so it is. It's over a year, bro. Oh, okay. It's really over here. That's hey. crazy. I didn't realize it was, like, daily like that. But, like, yeah, I really how, when did you, formed how, a routine. Did you intentionally start recording it for the purpose of just making No, it? it just recorded on the app that I used. Okay. So, like, I really didn't even realize that for real, for real. Got so you. Shout out to that. Oh, nice. Um, That's what's up. Right. Now I feel like I keep going. Absolutely. I mean, they think... Do you feel like it's a, a task? Or no, like it's, it's just a, a part of my daily routine. It's so just for real, for real. That's what I'm trying to say. So, shout out to me. That's shout crazy. out. Shout out. Meditation shout helps, man. I'm, I've been actually calmer and stuff like that, you know? That's what they said. <laughs> I've 
That's I really have. He I, said. I don't like. I don't. I don't let That's things bother me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't get. I don't get as mad as as I used to or irritated as I used to about mm-hmm. certain things. I'm a lot more calmer in my in my response to thing to things. Got you. So it probably really has worked. Mm-hmm. So shout out to meditate, man. If those those of you who haven't tried it, try it. it may work. Mm-hmm. May not, but you know, you never know till you try. So have over mind. Facts. Real shit. Uh. Come smoke with me. It's actually coming. So he says. Well, I mean, it's we'll to find out. But yeah, come smoke with us. Come smoke <laughs> with me. And we're going to find out some shit. Yeah. <laughs> For real, right? Though. Find out some shit. For real, though. I but hope not. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> shit. Well, that was a good one. Yeah. If y'all still here, we appreciate you all. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Let's have a blessed week. Enjoy yourself. Say hello and and all that good stuff to your loved ones and uh you know mm-hmm. put your best foot forward. Absolutely. And stay highly focused, man. Stay highly blessed, highly favored, and highly focused. And you know what I'm about to say. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Man. <laughs> and I'm rolling up another one. <laughs> so what about the smoke on? <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> I can't tell you that. All right.